If you're looking for an electronic signature tool that has a lifetime deal, I have your back. It's called the Restock and it's backed by AppSumo. Let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? My name is George, and I want to show you Breeze Stock. You can actually grab it right now, a lifetime deal for free. It has some limitations, but I'll show you those in a bit. Now, if you're looking for a paid lifetime deal, you got all the way up to license tier four, which is still super affordable, $39. Now, there's two things that I really like about Breeze Stock. First of all, it's that it's backed by AppSumo. That means that these guys who are selling the lifetime deal are the actual creators. So that means that it's not going to get dropped off and abandoned. So these guys are going to keep developing it as they've proven with other type of deals like Tidy Cal. The second thing that I like is obviously the pricing. You can grab it for $0. And if you want to jump into the paid plans, you can go all the way up to license tier four, which includes 40 documents per month. Now, if you're good with the free plan, go ahead and grab it right now. Or if you want to test it out, that's more than enough. But you can grab the next tier, which is $9 for five documents per month, which is really good if you don't need to do a lot of document signing. But if you need more, jump into license tier four. Now, right now, the focus for Breeze Talk is the US. They have the eSign Act, which is the uh, compliance for United States. And if you're looking to use this in other countries, you can still use it, but it's not compliant with other things like ADAS, AES, IPA, GDPR, etc. That doesn't mean that they're, no, they're not going to implement it in the future, but right now it's not the focus. So right now it's the US. You can see US, the eSign Act in the US. So let's go jump into Breeze Stock. What does it actually do? Well, you can upload your own document, contract, etc., and set the fields so someone can sign it really easily. Fill out the blank fields and do a signature and you're good to go. So it's super easy to use. Now, first off, you can jump into the templates. They have a few templates available. And the one that I uploaded is this one. I'm going to go ahead and upload it again because I want to show you how easy it is to actually implement it. So let me go ahead and grab that PDF right here, which is an auto bill of sale. Here we go. Let's go ahead and create it. It's going to upload it and it's going to give me the builder. This is where I'm going to be able to add, first of all, the parties and then the elements inside of this document. So party first party is going to be seller. And the second party is going to be the buyer and we're going to go back to seller and we're going to add the fields that the seller needs to fill out and the fields that the buyer needs to fill out, etc. Right. So, for example, the, the seller in this case needs to have the dollar amount, the amount right here. We can go ahead and resize these depending on the field that we want to add it to. And for the buyer, for example, they need to fill out certain type of things. So I'm just going to say right here, which is the buyer. This one is the seller and you have different type of elements. You got the text box, which I showed you. There's a checkbox. So if you have a section that needs a checkbox or like over here, we can go ahead and add them right there. Again, we can go ahead and resize these with comp, which I'm not going to do right now. And you can mark these depending who needs it. In this case, the seller is adding these. But if it was a buyer, I add, I select it and add the checkbox there. OK, there's also the date. So I'm going to add it right here and it's going to automatically add the date to it. All right. So this is going to add the date um, when it's signed. And then for the signature, we got the buyer down here. Let me go ahead and resize this. Turn it back here. And for the seller, we also need the signature. And here we go. Resize it a bit. And here we go. A little off with the squares and all that. Like I said, this is just for testing purposes. So you can see how easy this is. OK, so once I'm good to go, I can go ahead and rename this and save. Now we can go ahead and go back into Breeze Doc over here. We have our documents available here and our templates. And I can go ahead and create a document right now. So this is the one that I've just uploaded. I'm going to create a document. Here we go. We got the text fields. Everything is fine. Do I need to add anything? Well, let's just add some initials right here for testing purposes. Let's go to send. And it's going to ask us who is the seller and who's the buyer. In this case, I'm going to send it to myself right there. Do we need to customize the email so we can go ahead and change the information right here? The message also. I'm going to keep it as it is. Send reminders every three days maximum. So again, I'm not going to set that up, but you can go ahead and select it. Let's go ahead and send out the document and I should be receiving that over there on my email. You can see that first off, we need to sign it first. So the seller needs to fill out all of the details and then it's going to jump over to the buyer. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let me go ahead and open it up. OK, so here's the first document. New document is ready to sign. Let's go ahead and open it up and we can now fill in the fields. So I'll just say my name. Um, blah, 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 et cetera, for the details there. I'm going to check that off. 
I'm going to sign it. I have the option to type in or hand write. So I'm going to hand write. Click OK. And initials. Go say J A. OK, good to go. So everything is done. Let's go ahead and finalize it. Confirm and send document. And boom. So now another second email is going to be sent over to the second party, to the one who's going to buy this car in this case. OK, I can go ahead and view the document if I like, but I'm going to open up the buyer's e email now. OK, here we go. Here's the buyer email again. He needs to fill out the other section. So you can see this is filled out from the seller's side. So this is going to be Max and I'm going to take this on signature for Max. I'm going to handwrite it again. MA. OK, and we're good to go. That's all that I have to fill out as the buyer. I'm going to finalize it, send document and boom, it's been signed by both parties. Let's go ahead and view the document. Here we go. Everything's filled out. I can go ahead and save it and print it, etc. as the buyer or the seller. And on the document side over here on Breestock, I'm going to refresh it. And you can see it's been signed by both parties. In this case, I can go ahead and clone it, view it, download it and view the activity for this one. So in this case, this is the activity from the buyer and seller. So it's a, it's a audit trail that you have available right here to view what's going on with the IP address and all that stuff. So you have a, as a backup for any case of legal actions. OK, so basically that is Breeze Doc. It's super easy to use. It's just so easy as uploading your own documents, adding the fields. And once you do that, you're ready to go to start sending these out. So honestly, for the price that you're going to get this, I mean, you can get it for free or the highest here, which is $39 for 40 documents per month. I think it's a good buy. So if you want to check it out, that link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap for Breeze Talk.